Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I wanted to share two battles with you that feature speed in a different way. Lately I've been telling you about how much I love the speed meta. I've been sharing you my kitty battles with Nightmare. I've been talking about um, different cards like Naga Assassin and Pelicor Deceiver. These are great cards that are coming out that are, or that are have been out for a while and with the case of the Nightmare, um, that are exceptional because of their speed. And I stand by the fact that this is the f main focus of where the greatest power lies in this game at this time. It's not just in the del uh, the black team though. It's available in all the teams. And Pyre is another example of how you can add some speed to your team. He's a highly underrated uh, summoner that's available for the at the rare level. Not cheap by any means. Of course, Pyre is quite expensive. But when you compare him to things like Kitty, he becomes very seemingly affordable. And again, plus one speed might seem trivial, but it, it makes a world of difference. Plus one speed means 10% increased probability to dodge. It also means in some cases you kill the person before they even move. In this case, you'll see it, it, what it ends up translating to is that we, del we delete the meat shield and we stun the main monster who would be super deadly, would erase us if, if he wasn't stunned. So we're using full advantage of Pyre's speed, plus we're taking advantage of Monkey with the, uh, the swiftness. Um, and then, of course, we already have... Cobalt Bruiser, who who for three mana cost is hugely underrated with the four speed, hugely underrated, especially contact with the context of um, Goblin Fireballer and Spark Pixies, because you, you know Col Cobalt Bruiser has the knockout. This is an underrated card, and you guys you guys definitely need to look more closely at this one. It's one that's um, for three mana. You're going to be fighting in little league mat matches with it, but I use it in in all kinds of contexts where. Uh, I can't use, maybe for whatever reason, I can't use, um, usually Pit Ogre is my main tank, but I'll use this guy very commonly in a situation like this. And just the speed, watch, like, I mean, we, we hit him before he can go. We kill the, we kill him, we stun him, and it's over. It's really just that easy. And if we don't go, if we don't go before him, if we don't have the speed we have, uh, he's got a six speed once he goes into last stand mode and he's doing six magic damage. He's going to, he's going to hit me hard. And if he's going to erase me of course, stun was pivotal there, but, but the fact that my stunners went before him is the thing, like the real thing. If, if you have a stunner and he shoot, he shoots at a one speed or a two speed, like the Cyclops, that's a great card in certain contexts, but in this context, it wouldn't have helped me. I need to punch first. That's what speed does for you. So that's the first battle. And and the other one was this is it look at this 3200 rank points for me at the time and 3340 for this guy here so he's got a he's a successful player he's in the diamond range he's a, got a good team and he does malric at level 8 Therabus level 8, Magma Troll 10. These are maxed out cards. These cards are... This is a very good deck he throws at me. Watch this. Again, Pyre. Highly underrated. Plus 1 speed. What good is that? It gives you the advantage. And look at... Watch the speeds here. Therabus with the 5 speed is a very fast card. It's not good enough. Spark Pixies is going to be shooting at uh, an 8 speed because of Pyre with Spark Pixies. And that's going to give me my stun. Or perhaps Goblin Fireballer will. And remember, Cobalt Bruiser has a knockout. So he's going to hit for eight when he finally punches. Okay. Look at this team. Like this, he could delete my... Hang on, we got to talk more. We got to do more analysis here. Look at this team. Seven melee on his Cerebus. Seven melee on the Serpentine Spy. Seven melee on the Magma Troll. This is a crazy build he's got here. It's a very effective Little League build. We're fighting in Little League right here. Um, and this is one of the most powerful cards like in the game for four mana. Um, and then he's, he's even got a souped... He doesn't have just an, any old Enchanted Pixie. This is a, a two magic Pixie. It's a full maxed out ma Enchanted Pixie. Everything about what he's thrown here is, is elite. And this could gut me by himself. But remember, we've built a team which has a one vulnerability, low hit points, but our speed is our protection. So we, even the Spark Pixies, which is going to be my target, right? It's going to be the Serpentine Spirits, or 
buys target because he only my pixie only has three hit points but what do we have over here we have eight speed and flight so eight speed is amazing for dodge um grant granted the serpentine spy has six speed so that's a 20 i have a 20 percent chance naturally plus my flight is another 25 percent chance a 45 percent chance to dodge it's a coin toss right but that's a huge huge uh amount of dodgeability you don't need a hundred percent to make this to make this strategy work and because of my eight speed i'm gonna fire before anybody even before he has a chance to get me oh yeah the blind i have a blind over here too so it's actually 60 percent chance that he's gonna miss me there 60. so i stun him with the second and that's that the cerebus is like a thousand dollar card and I just deleted it with a with a very inexpensive cobalt uh, bruiser. Of course, I, I went down too, but that's okay. See, we've got the um, parasitic growth in the third position because it, it's going to slowly get those scavenger hit points. And by now it's over. But even if he had punched through my magma troll, my scavenger is now like a full-fledged tank at 10 hit points. And that's it. So you don't need to have kitty to win and there's tons of other examples out there this is just two that i had today and i tried to find one with the black team because nightmare is nasty even if even if um even if you don't have kitty nightmare is nasty stop don't, stop uh don't think it's just because i have kitty it's not when you when you look at the nightmare with seven speed at the max level seven speed it's a 70% chance to dodge. Um, and of course he doesn't have flight. He doesn't have, um, dodge. He doesn't, uh, there's no blind on this character, but you can build your deck in that way. Right. Also, I wanted to say about blind. Somebody said in the comments that you cannot double blind a, a, your enemy. If you use one blind, that's it. I don't think that's true because blind is a minus 15%, uh, ability to hit for, against your opponent. So it's like a, it's a it's a fixed amount of of, of negative um, nerf to your enemy. I think you can stack that. So it would be two blinds equals minus thirty percent. I could be wrong about this. And if somebody can point me towards a you know Agroad or Yaba confirming this, or if there's a website that I'm not aware of that specifically lays out how much uh, blind and how whether you can stack two blinds, I would be glad to see that. I want to have the right answer here and I will give 100 DC to the first person in the comments that points me to that resource that helps me correct if I need to correct. I believe I'm, I'm this is, it's true, you can use double blind. I, I want to know for sure. Help me figure that out, guys. And uh, yeah, don't sleep on these monsters that are 70 cents that can be a main tank um, just because you don't have kitty. It's not, kitty makes it, perfect but other contexts still work like i just showed you there pyre is an excellent example pyre as a summoner costs you're talking 14 dollars per bcx so i guess if you're going to fight in silver you're talking you know 150 us dollars maybe 200 dollars um i guess it's 200 dollars so it's not small but uh you know at level three would be very helpful in silver Otherwise, if you want to invest at the higher levels, you can get a level seven copy for 10 bucks per BCX, and that's pretty darn reasonable. That's an excellent summoner. Maybe you wait until Chaos Legion comes out. Maybe there's somebody else who does low or pl uh, plus speed. Um, maybe there's a blind summoner. Maybe there's a dodge summoner. There's lots of different things, but think, always be thinking, understand that this meta is not specifically dependent upon Kitty. Yes, Kitty makes it excellent, but there are so many ways to, to, to beat your enemy with speed. And some of the monsters, you need to be looking for flight. You need to be looking for dodge. You need to be looking for blind. You need to be looking for um, synergistic things like that. When the Cobalt Bruiser adds knockout, bring your stunners. That's the sort of thing. That's the sort of synergistic. And make sure they're all fast. And make sure your stunner punches first, right? You don't want your knockout guy to punch first. And, and they haven't been knocked out yet. So think fast and think blind and think all these different synergistic um, elements. This is how you're going to build a deck that's really going to succeed, especially as we separate into modern and wild. Okay, guys, th that'll be a short one for today. Thanks for your time and attention. Have an amazing day. And let me know about that blind issue. If you guys know the resources, you got a, a link or whatever, let me know. And I'll give you 100 DEC, first one. Okay, have an amazing day. God bless.